Hi everyone, my name is Vatsman and today I'm going to be teaching you how to find the nth term for a decreasing linear number sequence. If you're watching this video then it's very possible that you might be learning the year 6 national curriculum. Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can turn a sequence of numbers and find the nth term. So on the first example here, I have um, a sequence of five numbers that are decreasing. 20, 18, 16, 14, 12. I can very easily see the pattern, but how do I create the nth term formula? Now the first thing you need to do is you need to label all of the numbers um, by the order that they are in. So this is the first number in the sequence. This is the 18 is the second number in the sequence. This is the third number in the sequence. This is the fourth number in the sequence. This is the fifth number in the sequence. Step two is then to find out the difference between the numbers that you have. So between 20 and 18, it is takeaway two. Between 18 and 16, it is takeaway two. And between all of my numbers, it is takeaway 2. Now, once I've done that, I take whatever the difference is. So, takeaway 2. I write the number, the letter N, next to it. And I've then completed half of my nth term. Now, I just need to figure out what goes at the beginning part of my nth term. Now, at the beginning part of my nth term, we need to write a starting number. Now, the starting number is very simply a number which is larger or greater than the first number in your sequence. So, I already know the starting number is going to be larger than 20. And this is a great shortcut on how to find that first all-important starting number. Basically, you add your starting number and the number from the second half of your nth term together. So 2 add 20 makes 22. And there I have completed my nth term. And then the, your final step is then to check to see that it actually works. So if I have a starting number of 22 and I replace n with, that's test number 3. If I replace n with 3, I will be doing 22 take away 2 multiplied by 3. Because if you have a number next to a letter, hopefully you have learned in algebra that you must multiply them together. So 2 times 3 makes 6. 22 take away 6 is 16. That's correct. In my second example, I have another decreasing set of numbers in a sequence. So I have 5, 1, negative 3, negative 7, negative 11. So step 1, I need to find out which numbers they are in the sequence. So this is the first number in the sequence, this is the second number, this is the third number in the sequence, this is the fourth number in the sequence, this is the fifth number in the sequence. Step two, I need to find the difference between all of these. So five and four, it's take away four. One and negative three, it's take away four. Negative three and negative seven, it's take away four. And it's take away four each time. So once I've done that, I can just take the difference and I can change that into the second part of my nth term, which is minus or take away 4n. Now I need to work out what my starting number is. And if you remember, my shortcut to work out the starting number is to take the first term and add 4. So see how it says 4n? 5 and 4 makes 9. And then all I have to do is do the final step, which is test this out. 
So I'm going to try and test out the, f the fifth term here. Okay, I'm going to try and make that. 9 take away 20 makes negative 11. Now a good mathematician should always check their formula two or three times. In this video I'm only going to check it once, but you should be checking it two or three times. Now the final thing you may be asked to do um, is basically you will be given the formula and you have to then generate the number sequence yourself. And this is actually much easier than trying to find the nth term for yourself because all you do is write one, two, three, four, five. So these are the blue numbers that tell me what number in the sequence they are. So this is the first number, this is going to be the second, this is going to be the third number, the fourth number, and the fifth number in the sequence. So I've already got my starting number, so 40. I want to find out the first number in the sequence, so I'm going to replace n with 1. Okay, and I need to multiply these two together, don't I? 5 times 1 makes 5. And then it's easy. 40 take away 5 makes 35. How about if I want to find out the second number? in the sequence. So I replace I replace n I replace n with 2 and that is 5 multiplied by 2. 5 multiplied by 2 is 10. 40 take away 10 is 30. After you've done the first three numbers in linear number sequences, you can normally then just carry on because you've already worked out that the pattern is just take away five every time. And that's how you find the nth term for decreasing linear number sequences and how you can turn already a nth term into and generate a linear number sequence. Hope that video has helped you out there and I am going to make another video that shows you how to work out the nth term for increasing um, linear number sequences so stay tuned for that and uh, good luck with your studying.